on a global basis, whether we're talking about Australia or Europe or or the USA, everybody has made games. We understand so much better than our parents and grandparents how to feed our cattle, how to breed them, how to care for them, how to treat them if they're sick, and that's made great strides in terms of using less land, less water, less energy, and less carbon per kilo of beef. But if we assume all meat in Australia, a one-seventh cut would cut your national carbon footprint by 1.5%. But you export 65% of your beef, 38% of your dairy, and 49% of your lamb. You know, the other thing also fine in handling is getting people to do less. And we didn't have any yelling and screaming. Well, I think they're going to want to get going really, really soon. So some of the principles that I think if we can take home today is the importance of, you know, respecting the flight zone of the animal how to work, position your, your, yourself to get the animal to go up the race, and then the only time I go inside that half circle that's got no people in it is to move an animal. Then I go right back, maybe I'm gonna sit on the catwalk. You know, one of the mistakes that people make is do too much. Austral Asia Line is a multi-purpose liner service operating between Asia and Australia and Asia and PNG, employing 12 multi-purpose vessels capable to cater for the specific needs of this demanding trade. 